One of the things I'm most proud of is our mental health department, where we provide low-cost counseling to special needs individuals and their families. During times like this, this is something that everyone can use. Hi, everybody! Welcome back to another character drawing show with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Azur Center, and, <laughs> and my special guest, Spencer! Hi! Spencer is one of my best friends, basically like a sister to me, and also a very reoccurring uh, participant at the center. Yeah, and she's also come to all of our... Um, You've come to like Camp Ed like every single year, right? <laughs> yeah, they do. Every season too. We have Camp Ed on uh, winter. We have summer camp. So many different times that we've shared. So many memories shared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Spencer is also an incredible artist, right? Spencer, what kind of art do you do mostly? I like to draw um, anime. Um, um, I like to draw people. Okay, so like characters, people, character drawing. So this is the perfect show for you, right? Yeah. And you watch the show. You're you're a viewer of the show as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yes, awesome. I am. And Spencer has also sent many of the characters that she's tried out as well um, that we've done here on the show. So we've got a lot of good things in store for you today for our show. As you can see, we are in. The Muppet Show. The Muppet Show. We are at the like basically like Jim Henson Studios kind of in a way. We've got the whole Muppet crew behind us because today, who are we drawing today, Spence? We're drawing Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. It's going to be so much fun. And we are going to keep it simple for you guys, for you guys today. And we are just going to be just drawing the head. So if you've got a little bit of time on your hands and you want to take a little break from your daily tasks, come and get a piece of paper, get a pen, um, a pencil, um, maybe some colors if you'd like, or if all you have around is like a paper towel and a marker, <laughs> do whatever you got to do and let's get creative. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So Spence, we are going to do mm, Kermit the Frog. So we want to make sure that, bring your paper up just a little bit, because we want to make sure that we can see what, what we're drawing, right? We're trying to teach our friends how to draw this buddy here. So like I said before, we're just doing the head. And what I think might be a little bit easier for our friends drawing Kermit today is that you can see that Kermit is the same on both sides. He is a very symmetrical in this specific picture that we're drawing. So if you are drawing on a single piece of paper, you can take your paper and even fold it in half so you get a nice line down the middle. That's totally um, uh, up to you if you want to do this. But I feel like this helps sometimes if you are drawing a very symmetrical face. If a face is looking at you straight on, it gives you a good baseline. So thanks for waiting up for us, Spence. So now you can see a nice line going down the middle and we can get started because we're gonna notice that it's the same thing on both sides, like I've said before. So let's start out with maybe this nice curve that Kermit's got on the top part of his head. His head is kind of diamond shaped, right? So. We're gonna start with two diagonal lines. And I like to go really soft with my pencil here, just in case a mistake happens. You know, it's really easy to erase. That's why we're starting with pencil, like always. So I've got two diagonal lines here, and we're gonna end it on the top with a nice curved line. Just a nice curved top. Because we're trying to make a little diamond-shaped head, like I said earlier. It looked like a mountain. Yeah, totally. So we're going to draw a little mountain shape. Perfect. So what Spencer said is really important to realize because we're trying to find little shapes that we're familiar with in our character. So we're familiar, familiar with a mountain shape. And we're, I'm going to come down here and make the sides of the face. What's your plan, Spencer? Are you, are you switching it up today? Are you making a different version of Kermit? Yeah. I love it. What's your plan? I'm, I'm making him in the like, I like I'm making um, one of my boys. Ooh, are you gonna do it like a little Kermit flair? To yeah, him? I love it. So I love what Spencer's doing right now. You never have to do the exact character that we're doing. You could always switch it up and give it a little bit of flair, pizzazz. 
So I'm going to be making the original, and Spencer's going to be making her own version of Kermit, yeah. which I love. Give it your own little, a little flair, a little spice. All right, so now we've got our mountain shape, and I'm going to curve around here and do the same shape that I made on the top on the bottom here. So if you'd like, if it's easier for you, you can flip your paper around or just make those same two diagonal lines, but going inside towards our middle line that we made earlier. So now we've got a nice rounded diamond shape here. It looks like an almond. It totally does look like an almond. This, that's the perfect, perfect shape. You're right. All right. So now that we've got our lovely almond shape, we can start on the eyes. So what I think we should do is let's see how far apart these eyes are. You can see they've got about an inch or two of space. So we are going to make two more diagonal lines coming out of the top of the head, just like this, two little antennas. And that's a good starting spot for our two eyeballs here. Since Kermit is a frog, he's got some Ribbit. <laughs> he's got some wide eyes here. So we're gonna make them nice and curved, like two little little domes on the tops of the head. How's it going over there, Spence? Doing good. What's your favorite uh, Muppet character? Do you have one? Yeah, I, I love Miss Piggy. Oh, <laughs> I love his figgy. That's a great choice. I think my favorite one is probably I love Beaker and I love the Swedish chef. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our first dome of the eyeball, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Everything we do on one side, we do on the other. All right. And if we had background music for you today, we there's so many great songs from the Muppet Show. Muppet Show. I, I I love the Julie Andrews episode. I think that's such a great one. Have you seen that one, Spence? Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. She sings. Don't lonely go to lay or lay or lay. Is that from the Sound of Music? Yeah, cause she she was in that movie too. She oh. She's so incredible. All right, so now we've got the two domes here and you can see that I erased that line behind the head. Oh, Spencer, I love your collar. Do you wanna bring it, or you, do you wanna show details at the end maybe? Yeah, a nice surprise. Yeah. I love that though. All right, so now that we've got our two eyes here, we are going to just finish them off with a nice curved line to connect the edges. All right. Curving it around. And now we can do these very cool eyes that, that um, Kermit has. They're almost like kind of goat-like, you know? <laughs> they kind of remind me of goat eyes. Um, I've never looked at a frog's eyes close up, but I, I'm sure they're very strange and cool like this. All right, so we're gonna start with one circle in the middle and the same one on a similar side. We're kind of doing it further up on the right side here. Are you going to give your um, Kermit uh, yes, eyes I did. like this? Ooh, I see. <laughs> They're awesome. And they almost look like glasses as well. Yeah. All right. And Spencer will show you all of her really incredible details at the end. Same with us. We'll do a little bit of a close up for you at the end. All right. So to finish off the eyes here, I'm just going to color them in so you can really see. We've got our circle in the middle and two little bumps on the side. Just like that. <laughs> it almost looks like a Saturn. The, the planet Saturn. Yeah. Jupiter, it's the planet five and Saturn is six. <laughs> is that a, from a song? Yeah. Little Einstein. A little, oh, Eddie loves Little Einstein. I, I actually like that show too. They, they have some really great information that you can learn on that show. He knows so much about different artists from Little Einsteins. If you haven't checked out Little Einsteins, go check out Little Einstein. And that's not the same as like Baby Einstein, because I know yeah. Eddie watches that too, because that's it's also very like music and art based as yeah. well. Yeah, but baby version. That's true. It's very like stimulating for the eyes. Lots of colors and shapes. All right, so we got sad. the face. Oh, your little Saturn shaped eyes. Yeah. Perfect. And you've got a cute nose too. And yeah. we're on the same part uh, at the same time. So we're yeah. both going to make the mouth now, right? Yeah. Are you going to make a similar mouth to the yeah. Kermit's? 
All right, so I think the easiest way to start with this mouth is just finding the sides of the cheeks and making a nice curved line going from cheek to cheek, leaving a little bit of space before you hit the cheek, just like that. And then ending that line with two curved little parentheses marks, just like that. And like I've said in other videos, those little lines are on a lot of characters because Winnie you, the Pooh. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh has those little marks. I think even SpongeBob. A lot of characters have these little cheek lines here because it shows if you touch your face when you when you smile, your cheeks kind of go up. And same with your eyes; they kind of crinkle on the sides. All right, so now we've got our mouth. Yes. We've got the little curves on the side, and we can go down and bring our mouth into a nice wide smile by bringing a nice curved line coming down towards the chin, leaving about an inch of space, and bringing it back up to the top. To the top. Okay, perfect. And then you just finish it off with a little tongue on the inside, the same kind of shape that we made um, on the bottom for that outer lip. And that's supposed to be like his tongue. Yeah. Oh, I love Kermit. Jim Henson is so incredible. Yeah. I love all the Jim Henson um, cartoons. Oh, Spencer, I love the Muppets. Your, your, your character so far. Yeah. He yeah. looks very happy. I almost want to give my Kermit some freckles, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our head shape, our mouth, our eyes, we can finish him off with a collar. You can see he's got one, two, three, four, five little points on his little um, collar there. So I think what's easiest to make sure that they're both very symmetrical, all the little triangles there, we are going to start with the first one in the middle. And you want to make two curved lines, ending with a little point right on that middle line that we made there in the middle of our paper. And then you can start curving those two collar marks off to the side and making the same shape once again. And feel free to not do this method either with keeping them like perfectly symmetrical. You could also just make um, pointed V shapes, just like something like that in the corner. It doesn't have to be super accurate the way I'm doing it. I'm making mine almost look like flower petals in a way. Right now, with just like the headless body. Have you ever seen um, Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Audrey too. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the, the giant. Tui. Yeah, Tui, the little plant, mm -hmm. or not so little plant, you know. No spoilers here, though. <laughs> Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. Oh, I love that movie. I have you seen it in um, theaters or, or yeah. not? Not theater. Like, have you seen it in like like the, the theater? Yeah. Oh, that would be so incredible. See, I've I've never seen it in theater, but I've totally seen the movie. All right. So now that we've got our lovely little flower collar. You can finish it off by kind of letting it blend into the head by just adding a little line there on the edges. But other than that, I mean, that's about it for our Kermit. How's it going over there with you, Spence? Doing good. I absolutely love your character. Do you want to bring it? Can we bring it a little closer to the camera so you can, we can see? Here, do you want to just flip it this way and bring it up to this camera? Perfect. And you can see Spencer made her own Kermit-inspired um, uh, anime character, yeah. or just kid, boy character in general. Yeah. I absolutely love it. What do you think of your art that you've made? I love the, I love my own art. I, I love hearing that. You know, yeah. I say it all the time. That's all that matters. As long as you like the art that you make, I mean, gosh, what else do you need there? And so we're finishing off there. You want to do side by side for our camera? We can see. Um, original corner and then we can have our own Spencer style yeah. Kermit. I love it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay. Well, that's going to be about it for our show. And Spencer, you you got bought, uh, the rest of your body to draw. So you've yeah. got plenty more time to just chill and draw. And same with you guys. If you still have more to work on or if you feel like I went a little bit too quick, always feel like you can replay the show afterwards because it's always recorded. And me and Spencer want to see your Kermits. I'll send you any Kermit that I get. Yeah. Um, like, um, post it on Instagram. Yeah, post it on Instagram. Post it on Facebook. And tag us at Ed Eisner Family Center. Um, or email it to me at Aviva at Ed Eisner Family Center. Sounds like a dot com. Or. or. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that is going to be it for today. Spencer, thanks so much for joining our show no problem i had fun do you want to plug anything or like anything that you're doing or any show you're gonna be on tomorrow <laughs> like i get i get to be on on um mad and novice show tomorrow yeah so go check out um brady bench of autism the show that we have also on uh all of our platforms that we use so go check that out go see spencer tomorrow on the show and Thank you for joining us. Should we end with like yeah. a, a bye like um, yeah. Kermit does? Like, yeah. Bye. <laughs>